Gator Bite, and you are watching Dracloid News. Today we are going to have an open discussion about bullying. I was actually bullied growing up for a very, very long time in my life, and when I was younger and getting bullied, I really didn't do anything to defend myself. I didn't do anything to speak out on the bullying that I was receiving and I never really stood up for anyone else that was getting bullied either because I was really afraid to use my voice because I really didn't think someone like me could have an impact on anyone and as I got older and I saw people repeatedly getting bullied I just knew that I had to speak up about it. I had to be the voice for them because this is not something that I want to continue to see happening either in the real world or online. Cyberbullying is just as horrible as real life bullying and I just don't want to keep seeing generations think that this is acceptable behavior because it is absolutely not. So I hope you'll follow me, Truthfully Trisha, at YouTube. She is known for There's way too much silence within the YouTube community. I'm not sure if it's because it makes YouTube profit and they kind of just glaze over it and they look past everything that's going on. I've seen creators being harassed, constantly bullied, called names, threats, and I've seen YouTube do little to nothing about what's going on. I've seen videos that should not even be allowed on this platform to be allowed and to be trending like the Logan Paul incident. I just, I don't see any justification in that and, and I don't understand what it is that YouTube that is not understanding that bullying is so a serious matter that, here on YouTube and there seriously needs to be more action taken against the creators who go out of their way to purposely bully people online. I'm not going to say there's any bullying enabler specifically, but what I am going to say is a lot of people that bully other creators are people who are either jealous of their success or they are someone who has been hurt themselves and they want to hurt other people. As far as what's going on right now, James Charles is actually gaining a lot of attention, a lot of negative attention from being such a negative influence on this platform. And that's really all I have to say about that matter. I always have hope that deal. people will change, the that they deal. will see what will they're doing, that they will see their ways, and it will be a wake-up call for them. But honestly, I don't know if my video or anyone else's video is going to make them change their ways. At the end of the day, that is really up to them to decide. I really do think, though, that they should be given more of a warning and maybe these things will happen a bit less if they see how serious this is and if YouTube takes everything more seriously then maybe they will understand that bullying is not the right way to do things and it's not cool, it's not fun, and it's it's just not appropriate. Obviously, I don't want to see anyone get banned from YouTube, but if they are a repeat offender and they are making someone's life a living hell, yes, I would prefer them not to be on the platform. I think creators should just speak up in general and not be afraid to use their voice. Tell if there's a problem. Report if there's a problem. Don't just go silent and assume everything's going to go away because in reality, it probably won't. You have to keep using your voice and speaking out against injustices. It's the only way I see anything changing. The direction that YouTube is going right now, I'm really not sure where the platform is going to be three years from now, 
10 years from now, even 20 years from now, it's really difficult to say. I hope that YouTube decides to improve their policies. I hope they decide to make the platform a playing field for all creators and not just the ones that are making the money. I hope that they will take bullying more seriously. I hope there will be a lot of changes that YouTube will make. Thank you, Drake from Dracloid News for having me on. I really enjoyed this discussion. Make sure to check out my channel if you're interested. Check out Gil's channel. We have a bunch of really cool stuff coming up this summer that you don't want to miss. Thank you guys again for watching Dracloid News. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to this channel because why wouldn't you be? It's really awesome. And I will see you later. Bye.